Now, the next concept in lipids which we're going to be discussing is rancidity. Now, rancidity is simply you trying to say fat and oil have spoiled or deteriorate. Okay? Uh, for us who use granite oil, palm oil at home, you can testify that after keeping it for a very long time, sometimes the taste becomes somehow, it becomes strong like that, okay? So that's actually rancidity, all right? So I actually write on rancidity, which is basically the process by which fat and oil deteriorate, okay? So we'll talk about the types of rancidity, we'll talk about the prevention of rancidity, that's all. Okay, so for the definition, we said that rancidity is the process, is the process by which what fats and oil deteriorate, the process by which they get spoiled. Okay, so when they deteriorate, it leads to what unpleasant odors and flavors. Okay, so what are the types of rancidity? It could be oxidative rancidity. That's basically types of rancidity. What can cause rancidity? Different things that can cause rancidity. So um, this can occur when fat and oil react with oxygen, and this can lead to the formation of what peroxides and free radicals. Okay, uh, the type is common in what poorly unsaturated fats. Then we have what hydrolytic rancidity. This one is caused by the breakdown of fat into free fatty acids and glycerol, and this is often due to the presence of what things like water enzymes or microorganisms okay then we have microbial rancidity this will result from what microbial activity that breaks down fats typically occurring in improperly stored foods okay prevention you know rancidity if it is due to oxidation they can use antioxidants all right which could donate free electrons and this will reduce oxidative stress you get so antioxidant, so adding antioxidants like vitamin E can slow down oxidation process. Okay. Proper storage. If you keep fat and oil in what airtight containers, away from light and heat, this will prevent what rancidity. So that's why when you come to Africa, where they store those granite oil, palm oil, usually dark. All right, and they are airtight. Then refrigeration. Storing fat at, at a lower temperature. Can reduce the rate of spoilage of course that's why we're avoiding light and heat okay so for conclusion we said that rancidity will not only affect the taste and smell of food but can also reduce its nutritional value okay so that's it for rancidity which is a process by which fat and oil deteriorate all right as simple as that for answering that question